Hi, I'm AMAA Michael Williams with VAQ 130. Hi, I'm AB3 James. Hi, I'm BM3 Blanca Redondo, and you're watching Icon. And you're watching Icon. And you're watching Icon. What's happening, Ike? As always, I'm your host, Petty Officer Michael Gendron, and welcome to another edition of Icon. Man, it feels like we've got 2,000 new people up in this ship. Up in this ship? Up in this ship. Maybe that's because our mighty Ike family just got a little bigger with the addition of Carrier Air Wing 3. Reese is down on the deck plates to let some of our new shipmates introduce themselves. Reese, down to you. Thanks, Gendron. I'm here with Airman Ben Jammin. So, Ben Jammin, how do you like being on the Ike so far? It's not too bad. Um, you know, I do cargo, so it's pretty tough work, but I like it so far. So far, I'm enjoying the, the atmosphere. It's a, a real chill atmosphere on this boat. Uh, so far, the Ike's been extremely accommodating. Uh, we've been feel well at home um, anytime we, we need help. People are right there to help us out. Um, I like the Ike. Uh, I got sailor the day, the first day, and it's been a good experience since then. So, what would you like us to know about the VFA 105? Like, what, what does your squadron do? What would be something that you would like us to know about VAQ 130? You said that you were part of the Dusty Dog, so a lot of us don't really know what that is. How would you explain it? Um, VFA 105 is a strike fighter squadron. Uh, first off, VAQ-130 is probably the greatest electronic attack squadron in the world. Um, it's a helicopter sea combat squadron. Warheads on foreheads, in the, you know, through the air, by the air, and that's what, that's what they do. Uh, you will not find a better. Uh, Robbie the Dragon is iconic. He's been around since uh, World War II. We do a lot of, like, uh, air rescue stuff and cargo moving. Gunslingers, tonight we ride. Well, there you have it. I'm Petty Officer Lisa Reese with ICON. Back to you, Gendron. Thank you, Reese. Carrier Air Wing 3 also brought a ton of aircraft with them and just in time for flight deck certification here on Ike. Delgado's up on the flight deck with more. Delgado, what you got? Hey, Delgado? Hey, is anybody getting this? Can anyone hear a word he's saying? Can we please get some subtitles on this? Wow, really helpful subtitles. Just roll it. Everybody on this ship, and I mean everybody, doing the job that they were assigned to do. The flight deck's got to be working, engineers got to be working, combat systems got to be working. 
The supply department's got to be working, giving us parts, feeding us. Not a department on the ship can be taking a break. Everybody's got to be doing it, and that's how we make flight jet surf work. What you see is everybody turning and burning. Everybody's fired up, everybody's doing what they want to do. Whether I've got the rain out here, uh, I've got the bridge going what they need to do, everybody is uh, doing everything they can to get the number of uh, catapult shots, number of traps we need, so that we can show exactly uh, what we do. The whole key is we take the fight to the bad man and we do it as a team. The uh, Ike CAG-3 team, that's the way we're going to do it. We get here, we integrate early, and uh, there'll be no doubt that we're lethal when it's time to go. Attention. This is the fourth time this week we've already done this. You've been counseling on it three times prior. Tomorrow you're going to speak to Chief about possible EMI, and you're going to have to find somewhere else to sleep. Hi, baby, I'm sis. What up, people? My name is SHSN Aaron Rock, Surface Warfare Qualified. It's good to be underway aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. I just want to give a shout out back to all my folks in Lake Orion, Michigan. Hi, my name is Seaman Nina Gregory, and I'd like to give a shout out to Sarai Johnson, my five-year-old daughter. Hi, I'm Chief William Moss, and I want to give a shout out to Sylvia, my wife, Isabella, and Alexander, my kids. I hope you guys are doing great. Love you. What's up, Ike? I'm DC3 Reyes, and this is Cooking with DC3. Today's dish is going to be Eisenhower's famous AFFF. Now, there are many imposters out there in the fleet, but there's only one true recipe, and it's right here on board Eisenhower. Now, AFFF is 94% water and 6% AFFF concentrate. So all you need is just a little bit inside the bucket. That's about it. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab a mixing utensil. Go ahead and mix up your ingredients inside your bucket. You don't need to really stir that much. AFFF is a super thick concentrated soap that will immediately start to bubble. AFFF has many uses throughout the fleet, but its primary purpose is for combating class Bravo fires. The way it combats class Bravo fires is that it creates a blanket, smothering the fuel, preventing it from combusting. The other way is that it provides a cooling effect because you know AFFF is 94% water. AFFF is also corrosive, so if you get it on things like jets, you might want to get that off as soon as possible. And this concludes today's dish. Stand by for more cooking with DC3. I'm your host, DC3 Reyes. Welcome back, everybody. So soon we're going to start going out to sea for longer and longer stretches, meaning you won't be able to see your local barber anytime soon. Good news is we've got great barbers right here on board. I know Q's a satisfied customer. Isn't that right, Q? That's right, G. As you can see, just got a fresh cut by yours own Seaman Daniels. Got to spend a day with him. Check it out for yourself. on designated for about two years and actually uh, redlined this rate because I really had an interest in cutting hair. So, you know, I decided to pick that rate and now I'm here. Number one thing I love about working in the barber shop is the camaraderie. You know, we, um, we kind of get close together. Um, we talk a little bit of crap throughout the day, but you know, that's what makes it fun. You have people that you really enjoy working with and it just makes it that more bearable. And you know, uh, my favorite thing about cutting hair is just the, the artistry to it. I mean, I'm an artist, so anything that I find interest in, um, I put my all into it and I just try to make art. There's so many diverse people that come through with different types of hair. I mean, you can be Caucasian, Hispanic, black. I mean, all types of haircuts, high top, low, low fade, mid fade, high fade. So, I mean, I mean, it's just, and sometimes it gets kind of competitive in there too. You're just trying to, compete with the barber next to you, talking a little bit of crap, but yeah, just a different type of haircut. It really keeps me on my feet. And I remember in the back of my mind, you know, they're here for a reason, you know, they're trying to get some time off of work, stressful day, so you know, they just want to sit down, relax, get a haircut, talk a little bit, watch TV, so I always got to remember that. And yeah, I mean, it is, at the end of the day, it is important, so I just, I try to work on that every day, constantly. Yes. I like to stay humble, 
But in my mind, I think I am the best, but you know, I think we're all up at the same level. I think we got the most solid barber crew in the fleet, if you ask me. There's good days and bad days, but overall, I mean, I love cutting hair at the end of the day. So, I mean, sometimes it gets frustrating. A lot of people come through, they're always asking for me. So, I mean, it's a big responsibility if you know, really know what you're doing. So, there's always pros and cons to it, but at the end of the day, I mean, I love my job and I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. Hi, I'm ABHD Moya, and I want to give a shout out to Fly One. DM, Daniel Saavedra. I want to give a shout out to my family back home. Thank you for everything you guys have done for me. And I'm over here doing everything I can to protect you guys back home. I'm AM2 Uriah Denton. I want to give a shout out to my wife, to my mom, and everyone that's sitting back at the beach. Hi. Can't you read? Plastic goes in plastic. Paper goes in paper, and metal goes in metal. And I swear to Ike, if I find you throwing trash over the side, I'm bringing you straight to the XO. The library and the Roman spaces are all here for, for you to come to if you want to, I mean, hey, check out a book. Um, if you need to use a computer, we have a computer. The area is just basically a place for you to come when you need to relax. We have a lounge area that is quiet, secluded. We have the computers that you get onto if you need to get on NKOs, your GMTs, if you need to get to your study guides that are on the share drive or distance support or anything like that. Man, I should get to the library to learn some stuff. The great and powerful Icon already has all the knowledge you need. Petty Officer Gendron, now ask me your questions and be enlightened! Oh great and powerful Ikehead, will we ever run out of chicken and fish on board this mighty war vessel? The great and powerful Ikehead knows we'll never run out of chicken and fish, but you may have to eat them with your hands if you don't stop removing silverware from the mess decks. Oh, great and powerful I can. What's your sign? Sign? The great and powerful I can only has a call sign. Dwight! Oh, great and powerful I can. What is in serve? The great and powerful I can will turn that over to the CO. Captain, what is in serve? So great question on in-serve. Uh, this ship has not had an in-serve in nearly 10 years. It's a congressional requirement that somebody comes and looks at our ship to make sure that everything works and that we know how to work it. At a basic level, that's it. So here's what uh, I need out of you. I need to make sure that you are doing maintenance correctly, that you understand how to do maintenance, and that your equipment works, and then we need to make sure that everybody knows how to work their equipment and when. And if we do that, we're going to successfully beat InServe and, uh, and do a great job. Thank you, Captain. The great and powerful Icon has time for one more question. Oh, great and powerful Icon, uh, I want to know how many footballs did Tom Brady deflate this past season? Hold on a second there, great and powerful Icon. We'll take this one. My boy Tom Brady was cleared in the federal court of law. That whole thing was straight garbage. Yeah, and how'd that work out for the Colts? Boom! Back to you, MC3. Well, thank you, guys. And what do we have here? Icon does not officially endorse any sports team. All opinions previously expressed do not reflect the views of Icon, USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, or the U.S. Navy. Go Navy, beat Army. Let's stop talking about deflating things and move on to something that pumps us up. Like hearing a few words from our executive officer. Here is the XO with today's X Overview. Hey, going to sea is a new thing for some of us. And that means it's new for your families as well. But they can stay in touch and stay engaged by going to our Facebook page and seeing what we're doing, as well as being part of our family readiness group. It's a great way to be involved, to stay active and to not get lonely by associating with people 
who are going through the exact same thing. So look in the plan of the day and listen for announcements about how to be part of the Dwight D. Eisenhower's Family Readiness Group. Back to you, MC3. Thank you, sir. That's about all the time we have left for today. Happy Rockin' Ike. I'm Petty Officer Michael Gendron. Signing out. Underweight. Ship colors.